glad you're here to witness this great change. With the President joining our bloodline, sharing his secrets just like your father did, we cannot be stopped! We'll see about that. I tried to make you understand. In order to build something, you need to demolish its past. Your stupid ambition took everything from me. You turned my father against me and everything he stood for. That was a fate worse than death. I'm here to make sure you won't do the same to anyone else. <laughs>
Grant here, you beautiful son of a bitch. You did it. The situation is contained, sir. The Institute's resources were finally put to good use. It was just a matter of proper management. We couldn't allow for it to be led like a small town family business. Or even worse, to be run by a woman. Sir, this man continuously abused his position of power for personal gain. His poor decisions jeopardized the whole country. And for that alone, he should be put behind bars. James, Dr. Blackwell here has shared some rather interesting information on your conduct of late. If even half of those allegations are true, I'm afraid you're done for. Mr. Rentier, your father was a great friend. Seeing your performance today, I have no doubt that his legacy is secure. I wonder, it appears we're down a secretary of war. Ever see yourself in the capital, son? Oh, I ain't much behind a desk. <laughs> Fair enough. Then I'll see to it that full control of the Rentier Institute is returned to you. I'm afraid only you have the um, necessary skills to deal with a conflict like the one we appear to be facing. We do, sir. We do. But to win this, we need to be bigger than ever. And smarter. With better protocols. And stronger lines of communication. Well, it sounds like you two have it all under control. You've got my full support in any way I can provide, son. Carte Blanche, as they say, sky's the limit. Such a wonderful place, what a shame we can't stay. This exhausting chase is now over. Such a beautiful world, but it drives us all mad. The memories are gone, but at least we're not sad. And I need to rest a little. It's the second time I die, but it's different with you I was one bullet shy, so I didn't make it through 